Hey Ho to Mars Will Go, a space age version of The Farmer in the Dill. The rocket's on the pad, the rocket's on the pad. Hey Ho to Mars Will Go, the rocket's on the pad. When you jump up, gravity pulls you back down. Launching a rocket into space is hard because Earth's gravity is pulling the rocket in the opposite direction. The bigger and heavier the rocket, the more power you need to break free. We launch with a roar. We launch with a roar. Hey ho, to Mars we'll go. We'll launch with a roar. To travel to Mars, you will need a spaceship big enough to carry you and your crew, your food, your water, and all of your supplies. It's easier to launch such a big spaceship from orbit than from Earth. You could build the spaceship in space, carrying up one piece at a time on several trips. Once your Mars spaceship is assembled, you will travel to it in a smaller rocket. There is no air to breathe in space. When your rocket reaches the spaceship, the two spacecraft will be locked together. Then the doors, or hatches, will open to let you out of your rocket and into the spaceship. That will keep air inside the spacecraft. Let's dive through the hatch. Let's dive through the hatch. Hey ho, to Mars we'll go. Let's dive through the hatch. Goodbye, planet Earth. Goodbye, planet Earth. Hey ho, to Mars we'll go. Goodbye, planet Earth. Using current rocket engines, a trip to Mars would take about six months. But engineers are trying to develop new propulsion systems that might cut that time in half. They are also exploring ways to mimic gravity in spacecraft. With present-day technology, you would not feel the effect of gravity so far from a planet's surface. You would float. Can you catch my sock? Can you catch my sock? Hey ho, to Mars we'll go. Can you catch my sock? Imagine what a mess you would make without gravity. At home, if you leave your toys on the floor, they stay where you drop them. But in space, anything you don't put in the cupboard or fasten in place will drift like dandelion fluff, bouncing off walls and your crewmates. Water floats too, so forget about taking a bath. You will squirt a little water and soap from a pouch onto your skin, and then rub yourself clean and dry with a towel. Make sure you catch all the water. I squirt myself clean. I squirt myself clean. Hey ho, to Mars we'll go. I squirt myself clean. We sleep on the walls, we sleep on the walls. Hey ho, to Mars we'll go, we'll sleep on the walls. When it's time for bed, you'll strap yourself into a sleeping bag hung from the wall. You don't want to float away in your sleep. Our greens grow in bags, our greens grow in bags. Hey ho, to Mars we'll go, our greens grow in bags. For a trip to Mars, you will need to bring enough food to last you at least two years. Most of the food will be packaged on Earth, but you can also grow fresh vegetables in bags or other containers that hold nutrients and moisture. No dirt needed. Add special lamps that mimic sunlight and you're a space farmer.
Cycling keeps us strong. Cycling keeps us strong. Hey ho, to Mars we'll go. Cycling keeps us strong. On Earth, lifting your feet when you walk or run helps make your bones and muscles strong. In space, without gravity constantly pulling on you, those bones and muscles grow weak. To keep fit, you will need to exercise every day. How long till we're there? How long till we're there? Hey ho, to Mars we'll go. How long till we're there? On your journey to Mars, you won't be able to go outside to play, but you can do many of the things you might do on a rainy day at home. Watch movies, read, play games, or daydream about the adventures to come. After your long space voyage, you will arrive at Mars. Although the gravity of Mars is weaker than that of Earth, you will not land your big spaceship there. Instead, you will leave your spacecraft in orbit and travel to the surface in a lander. Touchdown, we've arrived. Touchdown, we've arrived. Hey ho, to Mars we'll go. Touchdown, we've arrived. Lock helmets into place. Lock helmets into place. Hey ho, to Mars we'll go. Lock helmets into place. The air on Mars is too thin for people to breathe. You will have to carry your oxygen with you in a spacesuit. You could also build a base with special doors to keep breathable air inside. Have you ever looked at Mars in the night sky? It's a reddish point of light, no brighter than most of the stars. When you're millions of miles away on Mars, Earth will look like a small blue dot in the Martian sky. The Earth's a blue dot. The Earth's a blue dot. Hey ho, to Mars we'll go. The Earth's a blue dot. Come on, let's explore. Come on, let's explore. Hey ho, to Mars we'll go. Come on, let's explore. With a whole planet to explore, what will you see first? Vallis Marineris? A canyon five times deeper than the Grand Canyon? Olympus Mons, a volcano nearly three times higher than the tallest mountain on Earth? Astronauts visiting Mars may stay as long as two years, so you will have Plenty of time to explore. The end. Please subscribe.